Okay, um, here's my preview of the Chromium OS. Uh, this is running on an Asus Triple E, um, I think it's SD701, something like that, the netbook. Uh, so it's a it's a real old sort of first generation one of these things. It's an eight gig netbook. Um, you'll see that I've got this thing plugged into a wired network over here. Uh, that's because the wireless doesn't seem to currently work on Chromium. You know, it's it's a preview. Uh, and I've got the image of the OS installed on this USB key. Um, there are plenty of instructions online. I'll put a, a link to the instructions in the more info on this video. So uh, I'll just I'll start it up. Now the first thing is that while this thing starts up, uh, we'll put this up close. This is a this is a pretty low-powered little beastie. So. Um, this boots pretty well for, for what this machine is. I've got it connected to, got the wireless connection in because we'll, we'll come up to the login screen in a minute, here it is. You cannot log in without an internet connection as far as I know right now. And what you put in is your um, Gmail username and password, your Google username and password. So I don't know if you can see what I'm putting in there, I don't think so. But I just put in my username and it actually sticks at gmail.com on the end if it's not an email address. Just a little hint. Um, that screen is also, it's the, the username and password piece is set to the bottom right of the screen. This is a very, a very small display so it doesn't quite fit, but it's actually pretty close. I think they should probably set it to the top the, the left right might be nicer if they don't want to censor it. Okay, so I pressed enter and in it goes. And then bang, here we are. And what you're looking at is, well, a Google page. It's basically the browser. It's the browser um, Chrome or Chromium, which is what I use on Ubuntu normally. Now, if I have a close look over here, there are some icons over here, which are battery life, um, that one seems to be that it's connected. Oh, this is a network connection. It has a turn Wi-Fi on option, which you probably can't see with this camera, but it doesn't actually work. And a third option, which has all sorts of uh, new tab, new window, all that kind of stuff that you normally get from the browser. But no, there's no minimize. There's no desktop behind this. This is it. This is the, the desktop of this OS. Um, if we click over here, up on the top left, there's just a bunch of links to Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, etc, etc, etc. I don't think you can customize this at the moment. I think this is probably very preliminary. In fact, it says in the writing that you probably can't read just at the top here. Um, UI under development, designs are subject to change. So, that's that. But it's, it's just a browser. Um, from over on the, the far right here, you can start your incognito windows and all that kind of stuff that you're used to with Chrome. Um, that's about it.